We are here with Mariah Stackhouse. So just gonna walk a quick part three, get to know her a little bit, just some quick hitting questions. All right, Mariah, tell us the difference between playing on the LPGA versus the AJGA. Um, you know, I think, honestly, the biggest difference is, uh, I mean, you're traveling week in and week out back to back on the LPGA, so the travel schedule's a bit more intense, longer tournaments, four days, um, and, I mean, you're competing for a purse versus amateur golf. I think those are some of the major differences. But one of the things that I, was really cool to see once I turned pro is there are also a lot of similarities between AJGA and LPGA events. Okay. You have your junior ams. We have our pro ams uh, every Wednesday. And, um, you know, you get really used to learning how to uh, go about the pro am, entertain your amateurs, and have a good time. So then, you know, you come up through AJGA, you're prepared for that experience as a okay. professional golfer. Nice. Um, you know, a lot of the events and the dining that we have here at the LPG or at the AJGA, um, very similar on tour. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of like the gifts and the balls and stuff that we'll get similar to on tour. So I think there are a lot of similarities actually that really prepare you uh, for hand how to handle yourself as a pro out here. Nice. All right, little random question right here. If you had any uh, superpower in the world, what would it be? <laughs> Teleportation. Really? Why is that? Because I'm in the airport every week and I would love <laughs> to be where I'm going. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what is your your all star foursome? If you had to play any foursome, what would you, who would you want in it? Oh, you know that's one of my least favorite questions because <laughs> I want to meet a lot of people. Um, gosh, you know I think I'd have to put Serena Williams in there. Okay. Um, Serena Williams, uh, President Obama, maybe The Rock. Am yeah. I part of the foursome? You are part of the foursome. Oh, then, well, <laughs> there you go. Up. Just let me know. Let me know so I can go All watch right. that one. Um, what's your favorite memory on a golf course? Favorite memory on a golf course, for sure. Um, winning nationals uh, with Stanford in, in, in 2015. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Are you binge watching any TV shows at the moment? All American is what I'm binge watching at the moment. Is it not too much for you? It's like it's like the perfect show for you. It's a, it's a good show. I mean, I mean, it's one of those you got to be emotionally prepared for though. But uh, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. Favorite club in the bag. Uh, favorite club, definitely my driver. Okay. Why is that? You're the best. That's that's just what you feel confident it with. Finds, it finds the fairway. It's really loyal to me. So. Yeah, me and you are definitely <laughs> very different. Very different. Walk up song. If you had any walk up song before you step up to the tee, nice what are we playing? Girl. Okay, that's what you're doing. <laughs> yep. All right, are you a beach or a city person? City. I like the beach aesthetically. Okay. <laughs> but I don't actually get in the water that much. You know, I, I like to just go to the beach, hear the waves, but I don't actually get in. I think I, I prefer mountains over beach. Ooh, maybe. Okay, yeah. okay. Think about that one. <laughs> What's your favorite activity outside of golf? Favorite activity outside of golf i like reading i like okay. watching my shows and i like facetiming my friends who okay. live all over and never in atlanta so what's your favorite book Ooh. or the one you, mo you read this most is, this, recently this is gonna be really silly but i feel like the things that you like in your childhood kind of remain true so okay the harry potter series okay okay <laughs> we got a harry potter fan behind the camera right now so she enjoys that one Let's she really go. does all right last one as we approach the green right here mm -hmm. um any superstitions that you have, whether it's with golf or with life? Any superstitions? Not really. Not really, I would say. Although I did find out this year that I'm very attached to the ball marker that I normally use, and I lost it. That's kind of hurt me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a consistent ball marker is a superstition that I've got.